Hey baby, you're looking good tonight. Why don't you take off your cap and let me take a sip? <sighs> ah, so good. Alright, time to pass out. Tomorrow. Oh god, what did I drink last night? No. No! Hello beer nerds, this is Beer by the Numbers and today we're talking about beer goggles and its many effects on our brain. As any beer nerd who's had a few too many can tell you, alcohol has a variety of different effects on the brain. It starts simply enough as a social lubricant, then it lowers your inhibitions, it starts to inhibit speech, then balance, and then your ability to form memories and then your ability to be much of a person at all. But when we talk about beer goggles, we're really talking about how the first two effects, social lubrication and lowered inhibitions, and how they manifest themselves in different situations. Because beer goggles can do far more than cause you to end up in bed with a whole lot of regret. One day, some researchers walked into a bar and began posing moral quandaries to bar patrons. Specifically, they asked drinkers the classic train problem. Would you push an innocent man in front of a train to save five track workers? The researchers found that the drunker a patron was, the more likely they would push the man in front of the train. Beer goggles seem to make us more utilitarian in our reasoning. Beer goggles can also make us less charitable. In one study, researchers offered subjects 20 euros and the opportunity to donate to Doctors Without Borders. Those that had a beer or two were much less likely to donate than their sober counterparts. However, we're not totally heartless when under the influence. Researchers also found that beer goggles lowers the bystander effect. The bystander effect is the tendency for people to not help another when in need if they're standing around in a group of people. When presented with someone in trouble, drinkers were much quicker to help than someone who wasn't sporting a pair of beer goggles. Beer goggles also boost our egos. After a beer, people rated themselves significantly higher in attractiveness, uh, intelligence, originality, and how funny they were. It must be why I think all my videos are hilarious. Uh, we also find people who are visibly buzzed more attractive too. Individuals who consumed two pints of beer were deemed more attractive than those who were sober. And of course, our appreciation for others goes up after a few cold ones, creating the most infamous effects of beer goggles. There are many theories as to why we make choices in mates that we later regret, but the prevailing wisdom is that we are less able to distinguish attractive features from unattractive ones. In one study, those that had a few beers were less able to distinguish symmetrical faces from asymmetrical ones, and symmetry is a key component in attractiveness. However, humans aren't the only animals that become less selective after drinking. Fruit flies that have chronic exposure to alcohol are much more impulsive about mate choices than they would otherwise be. So today we learned that beer goggles aren't all bad, they can make us more likely to help someone in need and are a great help in social bonding, but it's always best to remember to consume responsibly. If you thought this video was a little more attractive after a couple beers, why not give it a thumbs up below? And if you want to be alerted each time we tap a fresh episode of Beer by the Numbers, hit that subscribe button. Stay curious beer nerds, and as Kinky Friedman once said, Beauty is in the eye of the beer holder.